subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Yo, what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology iPhone SE versus OnePlus 6 speed test. Let's begin with a boot up test in three, two, one. And let's see which one does get there first. Now this video comes off the request of many people in the community poll. So like I say, I do take into account what you guys are asking for, but at the same time, there might be an SE2 tomorrow at WWDC 2018. So I figured we'd give this phone maybe one last video here until the announcement of that new device. And you see the OnePlus 6 is ahead. Also, I haven't covered this phone on 11.4, which it is currently running here on this se and this could be a good way for you to see how the performance is on 11.4 what better way to do it than putting it up against the oneplus 6. okay so let's talk about the fingerprint speed to see which one is quicker here now the oneplus 6 did move its fingerprint down a little bit from the higher position which i liked more on the oneplus 5t but it's still very fast and the iphone se rocks that first generation touch id so three two one and you could see that if you are upgrading from an sc to a oneplus 6 you're gonna get a much faster fingerprint scanner as well in addition to the face unlock, but the face unlock on the OnePlus 6 doesn't have great security as it's been fooled by photos already. So I definitely think that, you know, just getting into your phone is gonna be much faster though if you go to a OnePlus 6 over Apple's iPhone SE. However, that might change if they do bring some facial recognition to the SE2, probably not likely, but it is a possibility. So quickly confirming that software, 11.4 iOS version here for the iPhone SE, that's the latest official version. They're on the beta already of 11.4.1. And over here for the OnePlus 6, we're still on 5.1.5, and we do have 128 gig storage. This is the eight gigabyte of RAM version. That's a monster amount of RAM. Let's go on to the application portion now. All right, guys, so we have arrived at the application portion of the speed test. Everything is closed out on the right, and everything is closed out on the SE. Let's go into calendar three, two, one. You can see that's the iPhone SE clock. That's the OnePlus 6 calculator. OnePlus 6, let's go into settings. One plus six, let's go into Instagram. One plus six again, coming home, let's go into Twitter. You can see Twitter is first on the right, then on the SE, let's go into Snapchat. That's the one plus six. WhatsApp, that's the one plus six. YouTube, that's the one plus six again. Let's go into Netflix. You could see that's the right again for the one plus six. So the SE has won only one so far. Amazon, you could see Amazon on the right. And I think this is showing why many people are really looking forward to an iPhone SE 2 because, you know, they need to get this phone back up to the performance of the modern day phones right now. I'm sure a newer SE would keep up really easily with the OnePlus 6. Let's go into eBay and you could see that's on the right. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride and you could see that's the OnePlus 6 again. And let's go into Dead Trigger 2. Now here's an area where the iPhone has pretty much always beat the OnePlus 6 and it looks like the SE was faster there. Again, just like the iPhone 8 Plus, just like the iPhone 10. And here we go. And we're in for the iPhone SE. So that's a win to Apple's device. Let's go into PUBG Mobile and see which one can open this more graphically intensive game. We're gonna just wait till it gets into the actual game, see which one can actually be playing this first. This game requires quite a bit of power on both sides. so. We're gonna see who's ahead. It looks like the SE is slightly ahead there. Yes, it looks like it's got a slight jump over the OnePlus 6. So I think gaming is not too far off there for the iPhone SE, if not sometimes better than this device. So let's hit okay. I was playing a match before and hit okay. And yeah, it looks like the SE is a little bit quicker here when it comes to this, just loading up this PUBG mobile game. So let's go into Slither close that one out oh that was actually a lag on the one plus six i thought i didn't tap it but you seen right there that was actually like a little bit of a stutter so i think that one was pretty close but still probably would have to give it to the se here okay so let's go into video shop and you can see that's about even maybe slightly to the one plus let's go into geekbench that's the one plus let's go into speed test that's the one plus let's go into chrome 
and that's the OnePlus. So you can see that the OnePlus has basically won almost all these applications, except for these couple of two more graphically intensive games. So iPhone is still a way to go when it comes to gaming, but overall speed, the OnePlus 6 would be a nice update in your like overall everyday speed if you were coming from an SE over to the Android side. This would be one of the best values to do that upgrade. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and do the multitasking. We're just gonna run through the applications again to see if there's any reloads, Chrome, speed test we have geekbench video shop slither and we do have the PUBG mobile we do have dead trigger we do have jetpack joyride and we do have ebay here and let's go into amazon let's go into netflix and let's go into youtube nice stuff here so far on 11.4 for the se snapchat very nice performance here overall. It's a little bit sluggish in terms of the animations, but overall, very smooth, very fluid. And I think very good multitasking here for 11.4 on the Apple iPhone SE. Let's check it out here for the OnePlus 6. You can see already the faster animations. This is why I'm telling you it will feel much faster using a OnePlus on a day-to-day. -day. It just does. It just feels faster than pretty much any other phone that I've used. Let's go into eBay, except for maybe the Pixel 2. That one's pretty close to this, about the same. But the OnePlus animations are even faster. It got that little pop-up going. But you see, nothing has reloaded so far on this device, and animations just look a little bit quicker than the other device. So nothing reloading here. 8 gigs of RAM, you wouldn't expect that. Both are about even here when it came to that RAM management, though, even though the SE only has 2 gigabytes of RAM. All right, so the final Geekbench scores are in and you see that the iPhone SE wins on the single core and the OnePlus 6 wins on the multi-core. It's kind of crazy how the SE even won any here in his Geekbench, but that just goes to show that this phone was well-equipped for its time. So at the end of the day, what does the speed test really tell you? It tells you that the older iPhone SE has performed well, but I think it needs an update in terms of its processor. Hopefully we'll see that tomorrow at WWDC. If we don't, we should see it later in September. The OnePlus 6 is one of the best values on the Android side and super quick, even faster than a lot of the flagships that are above it in the price point. So either way, they're both pretty good phones. I think that the OnePlus 6 is definitely the better buy right now as we all are awaiting an upgrade for this one. But if you're wondering about 11.4, you've seen in this video, it's running just fine. It didn't even lose that much battery life in this video either. So any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, drop them down below in the comment section of this video. If you found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, and